if you're going to become uh, the right uh, kind of a person in life, you must be very selective about the voice you hear. The difference between people is not the ability they bear. It is the voices they hear. The voice you listen to will determine the kind of a teenager you become. And one of the things that I want to challenge you today to do as a teenager is to decide to listen to the right voices. One of the, the choices of being a principled teenager and not a popular teenager is to listen to the right voice. Listen to the right voice. Write that down in your notebook somewhere. Write down that I will listen to the right voice. And there will be many voices around your life. In the Bible, the Bible tells us that the first temptation that happened in the Garden of Eden was not when Adam ate the fruit or when Eve, Eve, Eve ate the fruit. It is when they allowed themselves to listen to the wrong voice. When you listen to the wrong voice, you will eat the fruits that give death to your life. You will eat the fruits that bring death into your life. You will not eat the fruits that bring life to your life. When you don't listen to the right voice, you will not stay in your garden. You will not stay in your place of being a genuine teenager, a powerful teenager, a great teenager. You will lose it. And I want to encourage you, listen to the right voice. Number two, very quickly, very quickly, number two, not only listen to the right voice, number two, choose to have a vision for for your life. Choose to have a vision of for your life. The difference between an ordinary teenager and a champion teenager or a flourishing teenager is vision, is vision. In other words, have a dream for your life. Tell God, God, give me a dream for my life. And let your dream be what drives how you live your life. Usishi life yako by fun. Live your life by vision. Vision. By the way, Bible, one of the first things that drives teenagers away from the will of God and away from the purpose of God is the lack of a vision for their life. So I want to challenge you today. Kuwa mse ukona vision, jua mali unaishia na life yako. Usikuwe weni ule mse tuwa, wasuwa kisema wanaishia hivi, wepi unata kuishia hivo, ama wakita kuishia hivi, unaishia hivi. No, 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 no. Let your vision dictate your decisions, not your peers. Your vision, not your peers, should dictate your choices. Where you want to go with your life, do if I determine how you do things, how you make choices, who you hang around, how you spend your time, your vision. A teenager without a vision is a teenager that is headed for destruction. Why? Bible in Atombia, where there is no vision, people perish. Number three, very quickly to Kimalizia. So to Mesema, number one, listen to the right voice. Number two, to Mesema, have a vision for your life. Number three, very quickly. Number three, very quickly. So vision, voice, number three, values, values. Lazima ukwe na values zenye zina dictate choices zako. One of the things that I said uh, as I began our lesson today, I said, if you are a teenager and you want to be great in life and you want to be outstanding in life, you must be principled, not popular. Being popular doesn't make you outstanding. Being principled is what makes you outstanding and outstanding for the right reasons, not outstanding for the wrong reasons, outstanding for the right reason. And then number four, so to me say my number one, voice, number two, vision, number three, to me say my values, don't live life without values, live life as defined by values as they are defined in the word of God. And lastly, lastly, so that uh, we bring our conversation to a close, I'd love to hear your questions. I'd love to hear your feedback. Number four thing that you need to do is you need to watch who you work with is what I call vibrant accountability. You cannot stand out if your key friends are busy trying to fit in. Bible in Atom Behavi called Proverbs 13, 20, he who walks with the wise will become wise. If you're going to be a wise teenager, choose to walk with wise teenagers. And they are there. It's not every teenager that is foolish, by the way. There are many teenagers that are wise. Choose to have those ones as your friends. Don't hang around. Don't hang around friends for fun. Hang around friends because they form your future and they make your future drive towards the place that God wants it to go. So to myself, have four things. Number one, listen to the right voice. The voice you listen to is more important than you can ever imagine in your life. Number two, to Mesema, 
listen, have a vision for your life. Tell God to give you a vision for your life. And don't ask your friends to give you a vision. They'll give you a small vision. Ask God to give you a big vision in your life that will help you to become a great person in life. Number three to Mesema, values. Values. Usishi life by feelings. What to any any, how on a direction do I live in life by feelings? People who are going somewhere with their lives, they live life by values, biblical values. And then number four, to mesema vibrant accountability. Choose to hang out with the right people. If you want to be outstanding, don't hang around people who are trying to fit in and conform. That's one of the decisions Daniel made. Daniel never hung out with people who are trying to fit in. He hung out with people who are committed to stand out. And those people are there. Those teenagers are there. You can have friends that inspire you, that help you to become an authentic person. No, let me finish by saying this. We began by saying uh, there are three things that you've got to ask yourself. Number one, who is influent, Who is informing me first? And we said, if you're going to have a transformed life, you must watch who informs you. What movies inform you? What music informs you? What mentors inform you? Number two, we said, watch who influences you. Who influences you? And then number three, we said, watch who gives you identity. Don't allow yourself to be defined by anyone. Allow yourself to be defined by God. And we have talked about very many things. But as I finish, I want to tell you a, a short poem that I had many years ago that I that I love until today. 